In MCQ20, we're going to take a look at Redox, and with Redox, we'll write out the shortcut shoe. Together with the symbol, plus, minus, plus, minus, minus, plus, minus, plus. The first row would have been the profile for oxidation, and the second row would be the profile for reduction. Now S itself stands for oxidation state H4 hydrogen O4 oxygen and E4 electron and each of them plus will say that there's an increase in oxidation state losing hydrogen gaining oxygen or losing electron will be that for oxidation and conversely speaking a decrease in oxidation state gaining hydrogen losing oxygen or gaining electron would have been seen as a reduction process so the question here have us wonder which of the reaction is a reduction taking place and i highly recommend that we stick to using oxidation state as an indicative method to find out is there going to be oxidation or reduction. So for number one, we're looking for the conversion of nitrogen to ammonia in the Habel process. So nitrogen and two gas plus three units of H2 gas will be converted to two and H3 gas with a reversible symbol. Writing out the oxidation state, Elemental nitrogen would have come on with the oxidation state of zero, but in ammonia itself, each hydrogen holds an oxidation state of plus one, and we do have three of them. We do have only one of our nitrogen, and since this is a molecule that does not have any charge, this function is equal to zero, x is equal to minus three. And definitely moving from zero to minus three, we see that there is a decrease in oxidation state. And base of SHOE, an act of decrease in oxidation state is seen to be as that of a reduction event. So option one is true. We have A, B, C to consider, but not D anymore. For option number two, the formation of iron from hematite in the blast furnace. Now this is a very important process that you should actually commit to memory that is part of metal extraction. Hematite is considered to be iron tree oxide. It will react with carbon monoxide that is found in the blast furnace, reducing it to form iron, which is molten because the interior of the blast furnace is very warm, way above the melting point of iron, that's why it melts, and the production of carbon dioxide gas. Now balancing up the equation, we're going to have the 3, 2, and 3. Nonetheless, take a look at the oxidation state of iron. In hematite, this is that of a plus 3, but elemental iron has an oxidation state of 0. And therefore, this is once again fair to say that there is a decrease in oxidation state, and this calls for a reduction process to be in place. So I'm looking at the inclusion of number 2 in my answer. I have it for A, for B, but not for C. Now the last item is a little bit peculiar, it requires you to think backwards. We are looking for a colour change for potassium manganate from purple to colourless. Now potassium manganate is a well-known reagent used to test for reducing agent. And if there is indeed a reducing agent, it will change its colour from the original that of purple towards that of colourless. If you are interested in the ions, that actually gives the color. Purple came from MnO4 minus, and the colors come from Mn2 plus. So if a color change is in place, I need you to work backwards in order to test for reducing agent itself. It must have been an oxidizing agent. And in order to be an oxidizing agent, it must have went through the process of reduction as well. And therefore, I'll say that number three is also a reduction process that's happening that caused potassium magnet to go from purple to colorless. And this gives us A as the answer for this question.